Oh, it's, I think it's actually just really mad. I'm not really sure what it's doing, but I'm gonna help it. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a trapdoor spider unboxing. I'm down to zero trapdoor spiders and I know I've talked about it a little bit on Instagram saying why I haven't really been getting more trapdoor spiders. I feel like that's a whole nother video, but the summary is you don't really see them much. I've had a couple trapdoor spiders that I have unboxed and then I don't see them for six months and I dig them up and I see that they're doing good. And sometimes I dig them up and I see that they oh. are not doing good and have haven't been doing good for a while so that is why they're not my favorite really to keep so I'm like do I get the trapdoor I'm never gonna see it but when I do see it it's really cool however Peter from bugs in cyberspace reached out and told me about this species of trapdoor spider it's apparently the biggest species of trapdoor spider in the United States which obviously piqued my interest and he offered to send me one and while I don't think they make the best pets for the average person I think there's like a niche of people who will appreciate trapdoor spiders. So of course I started doing a bit more research. I found out that Richard from the Tarantula Collective has also kept this species from Peter. So I watched his video and yeah, there's not too much known out there about them being kept as pets. So I'm totally happy to get one and kind of give a little bit of a review, I guess. <laughs> I think Richard did a really good job. So I am going to kind of copy his setup a little bit. Not, not quite, but take inspiration from it. And yeah, thank you so much, Peter from Bugs in Cyberspace for once again, sending me some really cool critters. I'm gonna go ahead and link Bugs and Cyberspace down below. I've worked with them a couple times. Not that this video is sponsored or anything, but yeah, I'll link them down below. I know they've got a ton of really cool stuff coming and going all the time. So check them out and let's get right into this unboxing. All right, let's boogie. Oh, it says pull to open. What? An easier way to open it? Here we go. Ooh. Here it is. I believe it's Ectoniza relata. Awesome. Okay, so I don't see them at all. Maybe some webbing right here. So what I've been able to find out about this species is their common name is the Southwestern trapdoor spider. They are again, the largest trapdoor spider in the United States, but they're also native to Mexico. Because it's a trapdoor spider, I'm not expecting it to just like be able to climb up walls and stuff. Trapdoors are very clumsy. They are made to dig in substrate. So they can't really like run up things and stuff like the, your typical spider can. So because they don't typically do that, I'm hoping we can get a pretty good look at it. So I definitely can see there is some kind of like webbing, something going on over here. That definitely looks like a trapdoor spider to me. Bring you in a little closer. So yeah, there's definitely something right here. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is pretty big. <gasps> Oh my goodness. All right, we're just, just hang on for a sec. Nope, nope. Oh my gosh. I got dirt on it, I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't think you were gonna, wow. That is one very angry trapdoor spider. Um, oh my gosh. It just keeps throwing up these like really tall, strong threat postures. Like, I mean, you saw that it's able to just like pop that lid off. What a cool spider. I am like very impressed. I love how trapdoors have that like segmented waxy look. It just makes them look so unique. Okay, what a feisty little friend. Another really cool thing about this species, I was reading that they actually make the trapdoor that has like the lid. The trapdoors that I've had have never actually made a trapdoor that they like pull up and down. They actually just made burrows. So I never had that opportunity to get like really cool feeding shots where they like open the door, grab the prey and 
go back under um, because they weren't that kind of trapdoor spider. It makes me feel like we're actually gonna see the species and we're actually going to like be able to do feeding videos with it and stuff, or at least that's my hope. Yeah, let's go ahead and set up a nice little enclosure for it. Okay, so this little one has been smacking the floor, but other than that, they've been on their best behavior. I'm not worried about them being a flight risk. So we're just gonna let them hang out there and be angry. I got a couple different containers. So I bought this one from Target this morning just because I wasn't sure what all I had. So this is just like a really thick food storage container and it's airtight so it obviously would need ventilation. And I thought this would work really well for a fossorial species. They also stack so you know you can do that but this is actually larger than I was anticipating. Like he was not kidding when he said that they're large. So. I'm glad I had this put away in the closet. This is like a perfect container also for trapdoors. So I'm gonna do the bigger one and give them a little bit more space to burrow and stuff. So because this is a dry fossorial species, we're actually gonna be layering a couple different substrates. So the first layer, I'm going to do some damp repta soil. And we're gonna pack it down between each scoop. Okay, so I think that this is pretty good. We got like maybe three inches of reptosoil on the bottom. And now we are going to switch to a more dry substrate for the top because we're trying to imitate like how the ground is outside. So, you know, the further down you dig, the more damp it's gonna become. But before we do that, when we are at the more damp layer, I am gonna try just putting some springtails in here. I'm not really sure how they're gonna do. So this is cocoa fiber. We're gonna do more cocoa fiber than this, but before we do, I wanna add a little bit of sand and a little bit of that desert mix. Trust me on this, it's like cooking. Look how good they're being. See, I'm not actually afraid of trapdoors because they don't really climb things. All they do is just get mad. And now we're going to add in more cocoa fiber. So we have this like layering going on. Lastly, I'm just gonna sprinkle in some of this stone mix. I feel like I should have also put some of this on the very bottom, but I didn't think of it until now, so my bad. And then I'm taking a handful of reptosoil one more time. And then some leaf litter. Okay, and there it is. Although it just looks like a tub of dirt to most people, there's so much more going on, but it's fine. So I guess let's go ahead and try plopping it in. I don't know if this can, yeah, this container is not gonna fit in there, which means we're gonna have to get it into a different container. Okay, if I can actually scoop it into this, I should have no issues, actually. Oops. See, they're not very poised. Here. Oh, it's, I think it's actually just really mad. I'm not really sure what it's doing, but I'm gonna help it. See, they're just, they're so helpless, man. I feel bad. You gotta, you gotta help yourself. There you go. <laughs> you know that it's, it do be like that sometimes. It's fine, I understand. I'm not gonna make fun of you. Now, since it was upside down, a lot of that dirt fell off. See, they, they seem so scary, but they are just so helpless without dirt. Like, it's like a fish out of water. So we're gonna give it its nice new jar of dirt. I've got a jar of dirt. I got a jar of dirt, and guess what's inside it? We know that they are not going to just walk on into the enclosure, but we are going to carefully try Hmm. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? There we go. I know there's there's just not much to see, you guys. I'm just... There we go. So yeah, there is the new enclosure. I think this is actually quite nice. And I'm hoping that we have a good experience with this trapdoor and that they actually make a trapdoor so that we can do feeding videos and stuff like that. Again, I don't think trapdoors are for everyone. I love trapdoors, but it's not an animal that you really see a lot. So I'm just trying to get as much footage as I can right now because unless we dig it up, we're not gonna see it like this. 
I'll keep you guys updated and let you know how it is, but keep in mind, I'm probably not gonna know how it is. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you again so much, Peter, for sending this to me. I love trapdoors, and it's really awesome when I get the opportunity to show you guys some really cool species. Like this video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're not, and you want to be. Don't forget I'm on Instagram, that is probably way too much, it's at You can go follow me there, also a Patreon podcast and a Teespring, and it's all linked down below, and I will see you guys soon. Let's get into the Patreon pet pick.